So I became a caregiver in my early mid-teens um, when my sister experienced an accident and she broke her foot. But she was misdiagnosed for a number of years and through the repeated trauma, she developed a complex regional pain syndrome, which is a rare debilitating nerve disorder. Because she had a rare disease, nobody knew about it and nobody knew what was going on. And, and it took a lot of trial and error to figure out how to best support her in there. My role within my family was a lot of, uh, of emotional support. I offered a lot of like, navigating, so managing her pain, so through preparing her medications and almost crisis control every, every day. We're lucky now to have found uh, almost a support group of people with like the same disease and same symptoms and finding your your network of social support is fundamental in your own well-being as well somebody who understands your experience that has been one of the most defining things in my journey as well as finding a purpose um, and spinning negative experiences that you may have as a caregiver and finding a way to create positives out of it the, the Ontario caregiver organization has been a great help because it's given me a voice I pushed for supports for young caregivers through the Ontario Caregiver Organization and through the Change Foundation and has given me a role in supporting the future generations and future caregivers and that has been a newfound kind of passion of mine and that is a positive that came out of caregiving that wouldn't have happened otherwise. When you have hope and when you have a sense of purpose and you have love it's a whole lot easier to manage everything that's going around.